So what we have here now, guys, is you versus zombies versus gangs. Your duty is to lead the battle, save the world, and become the best shooter and sniper available. So this is Medal of Legends. This game comes in at $11.99. Um, explore the world in... Is that a zombie clown? Oh, no. Yeah. And know your survival skills and choose a good hideout. Um, survive as long as possible. Kill zombies and everyone in your way. Great. So this is a $12 game coming to us by whoever this is. I can't pronounce this name. It is also their first title on Steam. So let's go ahead and get on with Medal of Legends. I'm sure this will be a truly epic game as well. Honestly. So here again, we have another game, $12, and we have no options. We have nothing that we have an exit. Just like the last game, we have exit and we have start. Um, horrible. How are you going to charge $12 and $20 for games and you don't even have a fucking audio slider in the game? You know, that annoys the hell out of me. I'm just saying. Okay, we do actually have settings here. Okay, good. Ooh. Remember, we've played games before that you have to start. And then you we still don't. Um, we do have a slider. We do have a slider. Okay, so we do have See? we do have okay. sliders and enable VoIP sound on. You have to turn this up. Why is the sound off by default? We don't have any separate sliders though. It's just sound. Oh, we have music now. Yeah, this menu is a mess as well. Oh. Controls. Um. I don't have any controls. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This whole menu is a mess. Gameplay, nothing. Graphics. Okay. Um. I can't even. I'm scrolling my mouse wheel like ten times to go down one notch. Like I say, this whole menu here is a is terrible. Um, overall graphics fastest. Yeah, I mean, beautiful. <laughs> you and Lawrence both said, "Why is the sound off by default at the same time?" Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. So. Campaign, we have campaign, we have multiplayer. Thank you very much for this. This will be a, motivate irritated. me to do more multiplayer coming soon. Right, I'm sure it will. I can't wait for multiplayer on this. Okay, let's go into quick tutorial. I uh, can't click the tutorial, so the tutorial's not working. Gangsters doesn't work. Can't click it. Maps doesn't work. Are you just using the wrong button, maybe? Continue the story. We said the same thing at the same time. We great minds think alike, mm -hmm. right, Lauren? Yes. A lethal virus. Wait. Okay, you're in the mountain. I'm in the ground. And they want twelve dollars for this. Right. Okay, well at least you got a pistol before you fell. Oh. Well, did I? I think so. It said it. Oh dear. Everybody already knows why I'm odeering. <laughs> well, I can hide here, I, I guess. Think. I need to hide. I know where I can hide, right? Oh, no. Remember what I was talking about? A cobbled together mess of assets? Well. Mm -hmm. Do you... Um... <laughs> what? There we go. Can you get... Oh. <laughs> right. I'm just waiting for it. <laughs> I know what's coming. Hmm. This is great. Hey, there's water. Okay. In case you're thirsty. <laughs> this is, uh... 
Guys, I haven't ever played this game. It's not like I'm. No, some, some no, this people might, is the first time. Yeah, some people might think, oh, you've already. Us have seen this. Some people might think, oh, you've already played this game and you know exactly how to no. expose its weakness. No, I, I haven't, guys. No. Um, this is the first time I'm playing the game, and this is what we got. And uh, yeah, this is a uh, asset pack. We have, uh, we've seen this like ten times on Steam, sadly. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. And uh, we just fell through another little thing. You're just free falling. Yeah. yeah. And it, they, they, and this is this is what I'm talking about, guys. This is a developer who doesn't even they cobble together assets. This is what I'm talking about: cobbling together assets and not even knowing how to put in a single line of code that would say, "Hey, if you're falling, let's restart." They, that's like one or two lines of code, a simple code, that to check your depth. You're basically so in um in a 3D world, which is unlike 2D like I work with. On 2D games, you have an X, which is your horizontal position, and you have a Y, which is your position up and down. But in a 3D world, you have your X and Y coordinates, which are across the map. But then you also have a Z coordinate. So all you need in these 3D games, if somebody falls off the world or falls through the world or whatever, you need to have a simple line of code that says, "Hey, if your Z position." Is Z position less than negative 100? If so, restart your character or kill your character. But so many of these asset reliant sloppy mess games like this and the last one, the developer doesn't even know how to put in a simple line of code that says, hey, if Z position less than negative 100, then kill the character and respawn. This is what I'm talking about. This is the maddening thing of these ascent reliant fucking sloppy mess games. Developers just go and they they're so reliant on assets. They just go to these asset stores, they purchase a bunch of assets, they think they're gonna make some great epic game because they're making a 3D game. They put a big fucking mess of shit in there, and they don't even know how to do one fucking line of simple code. That's why we see such a mess. That's why we see this kind of shit we have. That's why we see um it's it it's maddening and, and you know sometimes i lose my mind and i go off on these games because i get tired of it you know and uh, so why are some of these games ask 12 dollars 19.99 um for this shit you know continue the story so really the only thing we can select here is um everything's just coming soon maps profile we can't even check our characters a lot i'm clicking on that I can't even check the stats of my character. All we have to choose from is continue the story. And we saw what happened when we went in there last time. Right, and this fucking shit ain't even working now. Oh, there it goes. Ah. Uh, yeah, horrible. 12 bucks for this. So, we were at miss number 90 with whatever the fuck Sarah gave this was. My name is Sarah. Now this game, Medal of Legends, we're at miss number 91. And it's just February. Early February. Yeah, we're not even halfway through February yet. We're at miss number 91 already. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh... It's one line in Unity. If you pass certain vertical level, respawn. Exactly. But we see so many of these games where yeah. you can just jump off the edge of the screen and you just fall forever. Because developers can't even fucking put in one line of simple code. And maybe they're not a coder, but you could Google that. You could Google, hey, I'm using a Unity engine. How do I respawn character if they fall through the world? And there's going to be think... there's gonna be code out there on Google. You could search it, you know? What's there? You would think that, um, you know, as they actually tested the game, they saw, oh, hey... I'm running into things. I'm walking into vehicles and hills and I'm falling off the world. How can I stop that? But they don't. They don't just, they just it's don't just give a It's just kind of like, ha ha, I'm taking your money, sucka. And they, <laughs> and, and they just go on. It kind of feels like a money grab. And it is. that might not be their intent, but right. that's kind of what it looks like. And that doesn't speak well of them, you know? And now the it game's really not even, have. the game's not even fucking loading now. The game crashed or something. Um, mm. This is yeah. easily miss number 91. Shame on the developer for this pile of shit. Um, and the sad thing is, guys, I don't even play a fraction of all the shit games on Steam. There's a lot of them I just simply oh, avoid. so many. Yeah, there's a lot of them I just, like, I don't even want any part of. You know, but I can see how this game here 
yeah, it crashed. I can see how this game here might appeal to people on the store. So, um, you know, I play games that I look like might be something that somebody wants to play or spend their money on or whatever. And um, we see exactly what this game is here. It's a pile of shit, sadly. And just again, it's another asset reliance sloppy mess. So, so far today, we have two asset, re two terrible games made with assets that are way too asset reliant. Uh, they don't even, this one doesn't even have a single line of code necessary to keep you from falling through the world. Um, it's uh, terrible. I do want to thank the developer for giving me a free key to this game. Why the hell he gave me a free key to this game? I have no idea. Um, but hey, thanks for the key, man. I appreciate the the time you uh, you know wasted on this game. All right, guys. Feel free to say hi, everybody. Sadly, this fucking game here has caused my computer to have such a memory leak. I can't even do anything. So. I'm going to have to shut everything down, reboot my computer. We will be back with part two of this stream because this pile of garbage oh here has basically <laughs> sabotaged and fucked up my computer. I can't do anything. Um, so I will be back with part two of the live stream B number 20 as soon as we recover from the damage this game has done to my computer right now. Oh, so hang we'll, on, everybody. We'll be back hang in a few minutes, guys. We'll be back in a few minutes, guys. Sorry about that. Yeah.